Tip number 52. In power supply placement, place output capacitors close to the power output. I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is a uh, switching power supply regulator. This is the input and here is the power output. These are the capacitors, what I mean, okay? These are the output capacitors of the switching power supply. And uh, have a look how they are placed and how they are connected. So this is the inductor and here are the capacitors. They are placed very close to the inductor and they are connected with very short connection with the inductor. In different tips we will speak about how to place and how to connect the inductor. In this one, focus on the capacitors. Yeah? This connection here, it is very important. This placement, it is very important. We are speaking about this because uh, I've seen some designs when uh, people place these components uh, kind of, I don't know, randomly or not the best way. Yeah? And I understand that because when I was starting with hardware design, I had no idea that it's important how you place or how you connect some of the components. And uh, power supplies are very, very important. If you do this wrong, then the quality of the power supply may be, you know, kind of very poor and it can influence how your board is going to work. If you do it wrong way, you may have problems with EMC, with EMI, like serious problems, yeah? You may not even pass the required test because of wrong placement, wrong layout of power supply. So place these capacitors as close as possible to the power output. Same for uh, linear regulators. This was the switching one. Here is a, uh, here are some uh, outputs from linear regulators. You can see there are capacitors on the outputs. And if you have a look on example, I'm going to click on this pin. I will find it here. It's down here. If you have a look on the capacitors, which, on the capacitor which is connected here, it's this one. Yeah. If I highlight the connection, you can see it's very close. The capacitor is very close to the pin. The connection is very short. I. Uh, I choose this connection because I would like to speak about one more thing. And uh, normally you may want to place the capacitors on the same layer as the pin is located or on the same layer as the inductor is located. Yeah? This is a very special case because you know there is not really space around this chip so we place it on the bottom and uh, we also place it on the bottom because uh, the current here it's not really very high but as i say normally you really don't want to change layers you would like to place this capacitor on the same uh, side of the pcb where the power output is located also uh, what i've seen in some special cases, some special regulators, they have some special requirements, maybe a little bit different requirements for the placement of the capacitors and the other components. But generally, in most of the cases, when you do layout, place it this way, okay? Place the capacitors on the same side of the PCB and very close to the power output. Always read data sheet. That's how I learned it. Okay. When I was designing the uh, power supplies, many times you can just search for PCB layout. You can find there some recommendations how to do it. And you will notice they are almost always, almost exactly the same for every uh, regulator. So you will learn how to do it. If you are not sure, search for this information in data sheet. 
because it's very, very important. Tip number 52 in power supply placement, place output capacitors close to the power output. Why? It's the safe way to do it. 